So, this is not the video I planned to make. My grandmother's birthday is coming up and I wanted to paint her a card. I found these Crelando canvas postcards from my art supply storage and thought it's a great time for my oil painting comeback. But that's not what happened. So, I haven't done oil painting in a few years and for my return I wanted to do a simple and small landscape painting in one layer in one day to ease back into oil painting and give the painting some time to dry before varnishing it. I got a couple of oil painting books from the library, I watched a couple of YouTube videos about easy oil painting landscapes and about painting in one layer. But I actually started preparing last summer when I was ordering new art supplies online. I had a bunch of video ideas I needed new supplies for eventually and I decided to order them all at once to save on shipping costs, even though I knew I wouldn't get to some of those video ideas in the next few months. The oil painting supplies I ordered, among other art stuff, were a paint thinner, gambling camsole paint thinner and a varnish gambling gumvar varnish that works for oil, water mixable oil and acrylic painting. And you can varnish before the oil painting is completely dry. So on the day of painting this, I checked my art supply storage for the varnish. I found two identical bottles wrapped in bubble wrap. I opened them and took a double take because they both had the same texts. They were not only the same size bottles like I thought, but they were the same bottles. Gambling Camsole Paint Thinner, times two. And my day was ruined from that point on. I found the receipt in my emails and to my horror, it did say amount two after the paint thinner. But it also said one varnish, so where is it? I searched through the art supply closet where I keep most of my paints, I searched through the boxes in my storage or clothes room where I keep toxic supplies because of ventilation reasons and there are no more bubble wrap bottles or small bottles like this. I checked the website of this art supply store and the varnish and paint thinner bottles do look very similar. Same size bottles with slightly different texts. So to conclude what I think happened is that I ordered or I think I ordered one paint thinner and one varnish among a few other things. Somehow the one paint thinner turned into two and I did not catch that from the email receipt afterwards so that's my bad I guess. I should have checked it more carefully. But I did order a varnish and it shows on the receipt but they never sent it to me. I thought I ordered one paint thinner and one varnish. What I paid for was two paint thinners and one varnish. And what I got was two paint thinners and no varnish. It's been like five months since this order or since it arrived, so I can't return the extra paint thinner that I don't need because the return policy is 14 days and I don't think I can complain about the missing varnish anymore either. It's not the worst thing financially, I mean they are expensive but I bought the smallest possible sizes so I lost like 25 or 30 euros. It did bother me for a while but it's not the end of the world. But it does mean that not only will I not repurchase anything from this art supply store ever again, but also I could not have my oil painting come back yet and I could not paint the birthday card for my grandmother in oils. So as you've been seeing in this video, I did it in acrylics instead. And I do have a varnish that works for acrylics, so this way I'll be able to varnish it too. The moral of the story is always double check the item list and amount of your online orders and open them when they arrive to check you received everything you ordered, even if you're not going to use all of it right away. Has this happened to anyone else or is it just me? The reason I was in a hurry to make this painting in one day was that another birthday painting that I made for my niece right before this one took me over a week to finish. You can watch that one right here. See you there.